The green belt quest is not a must do quest, but it does have a lot of benefits, such as unlocking two unique spawns as well as access to nine different mini bosses and a few items along the way. So if you want to do it, let's break down how to. First, I want to say that the curse of the full moon part is only to be able to fight Feroxa, which spawns between the 12th to the 15th of each month and I won't cover that in this video, just be aware that's optional. Now, to start the quest, you need to head to Edron and talk to Daniel Steel Soul and say hi, curse, yes. Then head to the Ivory Towers and ask Milos about it as well. After that, go into the Middle Towers library and click on these bookshelves to get 3 pieces of parchment. Then find the 4th one in the basement of the South Tower. Take the 4th parchment to Milos and he will give you a stone table and the crimson flowers. Your next mission will be of collecting 3 more materials. First, the Shadow Bite plant. You can find it easily in the Earth Elemental Cave to the north of Hedron. And there is another one inside the Work Cave to the southwest. The next two ingredients are found in the Coring Cave of the North. Head there and make sure to bring a pick. Once you are at the mines, ask for a mission to Corin Rather in case you haven't been here before. Then past the door, go southeast to mine the gold nuggets by using the pick on them. The next one are downstairs in the Stone Refiner's Cave. Say hi, decreasing resources, defy, yes. Then head south to mine the silver nuggets, once again by using the pick. With these three materials, now head back to the Ivory Towers. Under Milos, you will find a wooden grinder. Use the nuggets on it to get gold and silver dust. Then head to the middle tower lab and use the crimson nightshade blossoms in this machine. Then use the silver dust, then gold dust, and lastly the shallow berries. And this will give you a nightshade distillate. Give that potion to Daniel by saying hi, curse. Next up, head to Cormaya and ask about the curse to Joem. After that, you need to go to Greenville, and in the last floor, you will find this room with levers and tiles on it. Use the levers in the middle to move the white tiles to form a V and then use any lever after that to make them click. With this, you unlock access to the first new spawn, the last Sandon, located in Cormaya, where your next mission takes place. Go there, and now you will be able to go through the fire portal. Then go southwest and down the stairs. Follow the path until you see these statues and get this message. Report this to UM by saying curse, and then go to Milos for the next mission. For your next mission, you need to have access to the Island of Pengoth, which is part of the Blood Brother quest in Yalahar, so do that beforehand. The mission consists of using the golden symbol Milos gave you to remove the curse from the stone totems across Tibia. First in Banura here, second one in Kralos here, and the last one outside the castle of Bengoth. After removing the curse from the totems, head back to the statues you found in the lost sanctum, then report the changes to Jump, and then go to Daniel again. With this, you unlock access to the 5 mini bosses. They are all solo bosses that are just slightly harder than the regular rare creature, and have a cooldown of 20 hours. The only difficult part of doing them is the running through the monsters or killing your way in. The first three are found in the War Cave of Edron, one directly south from the entrance, then the other two on the second floor by the northwest. On the second floor, you can find a portal that is a shortcut between this cave and the Lost Sanctum where the last two bosses are. But until you do them for the first time and report your mission, you won't be able to use it. So for now, head back to Cormaya into the Lost Sanctum and kill the last two bosses. The Black Bison is the more important boss out of the five because it has a chance of dropping a fox tail, which is used to tame the Manta Ray. So when you're feeling lazy, you can focus on that boss alone, but doing all five bosses takes around 10 minutes or less depending on your level. And the loot is of around 50 to 100k in total. After killing the five bosses the first time, report to Daniel to receive a foxtail amulet and now you will be able to use the shortcut between the caves to make the run for the mini bosses faster. This completes this part of the quest and the next part is to unlock access to the Were Lions and for that I recommend over level 250. To start the second part, start by saying hi, curse, lion to Daniel and then head to Darasha. Say hi, curse to Domitian by the southwest of the carpet. And your first mission will be of exploring the Were Hyena Cave. This spawn is located near the bank of Darasha, and the difficulty of these monsters is for around level 250s. But even then, if you're solo, it might be hard. But what's even harder is finding the spawn empty or running through the monsters in order to do the mission. Since this is a very popular spawn nowadays, it tends to be taken. But your mission is to explore the cave to find three spots. In the main floor, you will find two of them, the pool of blood southwest from the entrance and the skulls on a stone pile on the east of that. 
and right in the middle of both there is a rope hole that takes you upstairs. Then follow the west path to find the bloodstained pagoda. After finding these three spots, head to the south of the cave to find an NPC named a skull. He only replies during nights, so come during night time and say hi on that leader, then report back to the mission. He will send you to the leader of the war hyenas, Rargu, who is located all the way south of the cave. Say hi, curse, and he will give you an empty cask and ask you to bring him some food. Go back to the Rasha and buy one net from Halif and five flasks of salt from Mugluf. Head to a place with cave rats, I recommend Port Hope or Thes, and use the net on the rats to get them as an item. Then use the salt on them to get a salted cave rat and use that on the cask, which will be full after doing this five times. The other items you need to bring will be a hunch of boar, which are dropped by boars, one hard boiled hydra egg, which you get by using a normal hydra egg on any campfire. There is one in the swamp troll cave of Port Hope where I recommended to go for catching the rats, but there is also one inside the Warehina cave, but that one is in one of the rooms with the most monsters and the last item is five lion mains you should try to buy them all from the market if possible but once you get them all head back to Rargu he will give you a lit torch to use on the skulls on the stone pile which you won't be able to do on your first attempt go back and say destroy and he will tell you to go to the lion sanctum with this you will have unlocked access to the war lions for now since you need to do more missions to unlock the shortcut you must take the long way through the lion's rock spawn for which you need to have access for by doing the first missions of the lion's rock quest but before going in go to the top of the mountain and grab some lion's main flower you will need a tool regular knife or obsidian knife for this part now head inside and follow the path to the noble lions and go through the door to get to the lion sanctum these monsters hit harder than the were hyenas so be more careful and slowly cure your way in at first, you need to go to the room southwest from the stairs. Once there, stand on this square and use the knife on the main flower to get a shop version, and then use that on the torch to get a sparkling version. In case you are standing on the wrong square, you might lose the shop main flower, so it's better to have some extra just in case. Once you have the lit torch sparkling version, head back to the war hyenas and use it on the skulls of the stone, then report your mission to the mission. Keep in mind that you get to keep the lead torch, which now gives a 2% holy protection, and in case you lose it, you can get a new one by asking Rargur for one. Your next mission will be of killing a total of 300 were hyenas, which any you have killed beforehand comes towards, so you might have already finished it or be close to it. Once you manage to kill the 300 monsters somehow, report back to the mission. He will give you a lion ring, which when you equip it, you will be able to go through the lion statue to get to the second floor, where the four mini bosses are located. But first, head southeast to this room and try using the Falin statue, which won't let you go into the king's room yet, and instead will ask you to kill the four mini bosses first. The difficulty of these bosses is very low and it's much harder to get to them. They all drop some common items, but have one very rare drop of a red silk flower used for taming the white lions which is why most people farm those bosses they also drop a unique creature product to them which you need one of each in order to continue the quest after you get them head back to the statue and the four items will be taken from you and with that you will be able to walk through the tiles in the center that work as a teleport that takes you into heliodor's room the king of the lions tell him about the curse and you will get an achievement from this report back to the mission and the quest will be completed he will give you a lion mosaic that can be used in the walls of your house but also you will be able to use the shortcut to the lion sanctum which is located in the top of the lion's rock mountain there is another shortcut that you can take through the war hyenas which is closer to the mini bosses and is slightly easier to run through these mini bosses can be repeated every 20 hours if you want to do them again for an average of 50k per run with this the quest is done and so is this video thank you for watching and a special thanks to tuna hero torch slasher and drunken walton